That is much better. Now you can hear me. Today we are in the commutative property fish tank. This means we are going to learn about the commutative property. I have some story problems I need your help answering. Will you help me? Awesome, let's dive in and take a look. Here is a word problem that we need to figure out. Let me read the problem. I have three red fish, two yellow fish, and seven orange fish. How many fish do I have in all? Let's read that one more time. I have three red fish, two yellow fish, and seven orange fish. How many fish do I have in all? In this problem, we don't have just two numbers to deal with. We have three numbers. This might seem difficult, but I know we can do it. We will need to add three different addends or numbers together. To start, I will write an equation to see the problem better. We have three red fish, plus two yellow fish, plus seven orange fish, equals the number we do not know yet. The question is asking how many fish we have all together, which means we need to add them together. To help me out on this problem, we could use blocks or anything to represent the fish we are adding together. I do not have blocks in my fish tank, but I do have my fish. Come on over, guys. Wow, this looks just like our equation. We have three red fish, plus two yellow fish, plus seven orange fish. Awesome. We need to add them together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 fish all together. This tells me that 3 plus 2 plus 7 equals 12. Great job! This is way cool stuff. Wait, what are the fish doing? Oh no, the fish have moved positions. Do you think that changed what the answer will be? We can find out by counting them again. Count the fish again and tell me if it still equals 12. You are correct. The answer is still 12 fish in all. This is what we call the commutative property. It does not matter what order the numbers are in. We will still get the same answer. So even if it looked like this, we will still get the same answer of 12. So when we are adding, the order will not change the answer. Awesome job, guys. Let's do one more problem. Today I found six big seashells, two small seashells, and three medium seashells. How many seashells do I have in all? Hmm, lots of shells. Let's read it one more time. Today I found six big seashells, two small seashells, and three medium seashells. How many seashells do I have in all? Now when it says big shells, small shells, and medium shells, those are just sizes. We want to know how many we have in all, so the sizes do not matter to us when finding the answer. We can start again by writing an equation. We have six big seashells, two small seashells, and three medium seashells. The equation is six plus two plus three equals the number we do not know yet. Instead of counting all the seashells one by one, let's count on to help us find the answer. We have six, so put that number in your head. Now there are two dots representing the two and three dots representing the three, so to count on, we start with six in our head and count seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Counting on twice, we get the answer of eleven. Great job, kids! Now just like the last question, what happens if we change up the equation? Will the answer be different in our addition problem? The answer will be the same. So 2 plus 6 plus 3 still equals 11, just like it did in our equation before. Great job, kids! We learned some amazing stuff today. Keep on learning and we will see you next time. Goodbye! Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.